Hey everybody, Scott Kelby here from KelbyOne.com, online training for Photoshop, Lightroom, and photography and other stuff. Uh, we've got a messed up photo here. We're going to work on it. This thing, uh, it was taken with a, uh, I believe a 28 millimeter, and it's, uh, the whole thing is leaning back, but there's, there's like, this column is crooked, this column is crooked, that whole wall is crooked. It goes from small at the left over here to tall at the right. There's a lot of issues here, but that's what we have the camera raw filter for. So if you already have the image open in Photoshop, and by the way, you can also do this in Lightroom, same way. Well, it's the same sliders, they just put them in a different place. We're gonna go choose here in Photoshop the camera raw filter, and we're gonna work in what is called the transform panel. So it's transform right here. You click on this tool to get it inside of camera raw, but in Lightroom, it is actually its own separate panel found under the lens correction panel. Now there's a number of ways we can fix this. We're going to use this thing called guided upright, but watch, if you just hit the letter A, which is the automated upright, it's not bad. That ain't bad. And you can see this is still a little crooked and stuff. So you could, and, and look, so it's smaller on one side and then it gets larger over here. You could just come over here and you can move the horizontal. Look, you can see I can move the horizontal like that. And maybe a little bit of vertical wouldn't hurt either. Kind of straighten that out, a little bit of rotating. That's pretty good right there, right, compared to where we were. You don't mind, you know, doing a little tweak in there. It's not bad. Let's go ahead and reset that, though. Hold the Option key on Mac, which is the also the Alt key on Windows, and let's hit Reset, and let's try a different method, which is Guided Upright. With Guided Upright, you say, okay, this column's crooked, and this column over here is crooked. You just kind of drag it right along the line, and it, it fixes it that way. And then you could come in here and say, well, this thing right here is kind of crooked, too. Well, there you go. Now, that does a pretty pretty good job of fixing a lot of things, but there's there's still some other things that personally bother me about it. Uh, the floor needs a little bit of work too. As you can, we're gonna have to move it just a hair to get this straightened out a little more. I think that's closer, maybe. And what I'm trying to do, you can see, that's what's nice about this, when you move the horizontal tool, you can see what's happening to your image. So I'm gonna turn it this way a little, and I can see a little more of the column there. I'm gonna rotate it. I'm, what I'm looking at is this right over here. So I'm just kind of looking right there to try to get it nice and straight. So that really is pretty good. I, I have a little area to fix down here, a little area to fix there. No problem for Photoshop. <laughs> little problem for Lightroom. No problem for Photoshop at all. But do you notice how the image is kind of stretched now? And this is the slider I want to talk to you about, which is called Aspect. And if you look at the icons, it shows you this spreads it out wider and this makes it taller and thinner. So sometimes when it does this stuff, you need to kind of thin it back up. It'll stretch it out a little wide when you make a horizontal. And so this way you can kind of get it back looking like it should. So that's what the aspect ratio does, makes the image wider or taller. Let's just make it a little bit taller so I think it looks a little more natural. Now, I'm going to give you two little things that I would do to finish this off. There's some other little problems, chromatic aberrations and junk like that, but that aside, this whole side looks a little stretched and distorted, which is something I would traditionally fix inside of Photoshop itself. So go ahead and click OK, and you'll see we, we've come a long way from leaning back and falling over. All right, now, here's what I would do. This is totally cheating. I would go right in the middle of this column that looks, so look at the width of this column. Now look at the width of this one. It's way wider. I'm just going to make a selection on this right through the center of it. The key is I am not going to feather or do anything crazy like that. Just make a selection, go to free transform. Ready? Grab the left side and drag it in to get that column more like the width of the other one and kind of remove that distortion over there. Now I can hit return, enter on a Windows machine just to get rid of that um, and there you go. Now, of course, we have a couple of issues. We need to recrop a little bit over here. And I'm going to leave that bottom in this little area up here. We can fix that using the magic wand tool. We're going to click down there. I'm going to hold the shift key to get that little tiny area up there as well. And then the trick to using what we're going to use next, which is called content aware fill. Wow, kind of went blank there. Here we go. We're going to use content aware fill. The secret is to expand by four pixels. There it is, four pixels. 
And once you've done that, it digs a little into the background. It helps it to be able to make a more intelligent fill. And when you click OK, watch the floor over here. It will fill with the surrounding floor. And up there, it filled with the surrounding concrete or marble, whatever that is up there. And I'm in, in my cropping here, I missed a tiny bit, left a little sliver of white. And there we go. So now we pretty much have straightened out the image and we fixed a number of different things. It's not perfect but we're on our way. So there we go. Just, just a little quick tutorial on using lens corrections. Hey, over at Kelby One, we have a ton of stuff like this, way more in depth. Go over there, check it out, take the 10 day free trial. You can start watching classes today. We have almost 700 classes, 700 on everything from Photoshop to Lightroom, to photography, to lighting, to posing, to loving. Okay, not really loving, but all the rest is true. Anyway, go check it out at kelby1.com. Thanks for checking this out, guys. We'll catch you later.